Hey everybody, it's Carrie the Paper Monkey. Thanks so much for dropping in today. I'm trying to make this just a little fun video, a little quick video. I haven't done one in a while, but um, every now and again, I'll come across a book that I'm not familiar with and uh, want to share it with you guys in case you, you know, run across it either online or maybe at a yard sale or a thrift store. I had never seen this book, and since we're coming up on Christmas, because you know it's it's August here, so we'll be um, saying Merry Christmas here in about five minutes, probably. <laughs> I'm joking. Anyway, um, no, really though, I was so fascinated by this book, I had to have it. Let me tell you where I got it from. Angela the Traveling Crafter, along with my friends Carol at A Crinkle Path and Sandy at Wilhelmina Junk Journals, um, and I'll link all those channels for you. They have a live sale every Thursday, except for the first Thursday of the month. And in these live sales, they bring, uh, it. it is absolutely incredible to watch. Uh, Cause you know, I mean, I'm not made of money y'all. I can't just keep, <laughs> I can't buy everything that I see on there, but I absolutely love to watch the live sales for a couple of different reasons. They find the most unique things, truly. Uh, Carol at A Crinkle Path is in California. Angela is in Iowa. And Sandy, oh, Sandy, where are you? I can't remember now. Somewhere in the Midwest. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sandy. Pop in the comments if you watch this and let me know. Oh, and I've gotten packages from you too. I cannot believe it. Anyway, anyway, let's not let's not just harbor on that. The point being, they each are in different parts of the country and make some of the most unique scores that I've ever seen. Uh, unbelievable. Um, so this particular book was one of Angela's sales, and when she pulled it out. And I saw this cover. I didn't care what the condition of the book was. I knew this was going to be my Christmas journal. Oh, yeah. I, like, immediately. This is a couple of weeks back. This is at a sale a few weeks back. And I said, uh-uh. I, <laughs> I don't know who's bidding on this one, but I'm bidding on this one. So, let's get into it. First of all, just look at the, the color combination. I think this is from the 50s or 60s. We're going to check in a second. But just the pencil type drawing, his little shit. Everything is so unique. Everything. And now we call him Santa Claus. Okay, by K. Tut. If you have an opportunity to run across this book, look at these lead pages. Plain but beautiful. This red is a beautiful red. This green... This Grinch Green, beautiful, uh, by something Throp, Lee, and Shepard out of New York. Uh, maybe it'll tell us on another page. Let's see. There's a lot. Okay, so it's a 1963. The author is K. Tut, all rights reserved. There's a uh, Library of Congress card catalog number. Look how stinking cute. Goes through the story of um, basically Santa Claus and how he came to be. Yeah. Look, I, I'm just telling you, this was one of the most unusual stories of Santa Claus I had ever seen. And I had to do a quick video to show you guys. Everyone liked and admired Nicholas very much. One day Nicholas went for a trip and his friends came to say goodbye. While the ship was at sea, there was a terrible storm, but Nicholas told the sea to be still and stop tossing the boat around because he was a saint. And to everyone's surprise, the sea did just what Nicholas told it to do. I mean, look at these, look at these drawings. Look, this is a perfect tag right here. Like, I want to make this book today. I'm being dead serious. This, this book, <laughs> y'all, look at this. Belly band. Ah, absolutely. The simplicity of the drawings and the story 
are so unique. I, I just, I, I'm thankful that I want it too. This is out of Prairie. It's an old library book, Prairie Village, Kansas, where it came from. Look at these reindeer. Can you get over, like seriously, y'all? I've got to use every piece of this book. Very short, very quick story, but absolutely lovely. I will link, like I said, I will link the three ladies that I mentioned. I will link their channels. I mean, this is just beautiful. Um, I'll, I'll try to link the upcoming live sale link. Because what you can do is you can go over to Angela's page, click on the live tab, and there's a there's a thumbnail there for their next live sale, and you can hit the notify me button, and that will notify you to the live sale. So, um, and then I'd also encourage you to go to the Maker's Market. These ladies are three of the many sellers who sell on the Maker's Market. Um, and have their own shop storefronts in the Maker's Market. It's an online platform. It's, it's, it's very similar to Etsy. The process is all the same, whether you're doing a Shopify, an eBay, an Etsy. It's just another platform. But the, the reason that I chose to sell on the Maker's Market, and I, I don't have an Etsy store, is because I felt like I would be one in, one in a gabillion people selling on Etsy and my little shop would get lost in there. I don't, I don't sell at any volume. You know what I mean? Like I'm very, um, I'm very intentional about what I sell. I, and I have been, I just recently started selling journals. Um, and I, I sell a few of my fabric clusters and I sell a, a couple of kits and that's kind of, you know, I, I keep it very, um, very intentional uh, about what I do sell. So I know whenever I made the decision to sell on the maker's market that Angela and Carol and Sandy would be resources for me um, to be able to use that platform if I had any issues or any trouble or any questions. Carol, as a matter of fact, she does and, and has done or will be doing, I'm not sure when this will air, but she's doing a Zoom call for sellers in the maker's market to talk specifically about shipping. Shipping cost, ideas for shipping, um, you know. I, so there's re, there, there are actual people that I know and trust who I can go to as a resource. I couldn't get that on Etsy, okay? So that's why, that's the why, but really and truly main reason for this video is to show you this lovely book and now we call him santa claus i can't wait to get into this book i'm not going to do a process video on it but i promise you i will be back and i will show you the flip through of this book be hopefully before christmas oh my goodness can you believe we're saying that already 2024 y'all oh it is august uh, let me see what the date is. I'll tell you the date today, which it doesn't matter in YouTube land, but just for the purposes of this statement, it is August 17th of 2024, okay? We are going to be set, literally saying Merry Christmas to each other and Happy New Year to each other in five minutes. Where does the time go? I can't get over it. But I hope that you, I hope you did enjoy this book. Like I said, I hadn't done a, a Be On The Lookout book books for a long time and this one was absolutely worthy i'm going to try uh, to do a couple of more uh, in the next few weeks because i do have some some really cool books that i've come across that i do want to share with y'all so hopefully you enjoyed this thank you all for stopping in and for um for interacting with my channel you know, whether you're new here or you're coming back, I really do appreciate it. Um, if you are new here, I do end my videos uh, the same way every time, but I want you to know that I sincerely mean this when I, when I do close out each video. I do hope that each and every one of you that have watched this video today will have at least as much fun today or in the next few days as I have had sharing this book with you all today. Thanks, and we'll chat soon. Bye, guys.